you must become a lich. I was just browsing Steam, and Steam was like, you might like this game. And I was like, all right, maybe I like this game. So as far as I can tell, this game is like, you're this guy, and you gotta walk around. And it's one of those like coin pushing games that the arcade has. Your goal is to gain immortality by doing this kind of a game. There's something else as well. There, there's like a dungeon crawling type thing. Like somehow there's a dungeon crawler in this, but mostly it's just like get the pile of coins. I'm trying to get my whole coin into the basketball hoop. And you know, you might ask why, if you want to play a game like this, just play the arcade simulator. Like there's a whole game that's just arcade games. And yeah, I have that game actually. I probably should play that game. But this, this looked kind of fun. It looked like it was maybe like a RPG with some coin pusher elements to it. I'm pretty sure you do RPG stuff to earn the coins. I'm not really playing with much tactics right now. Ooh, ooh, there we go. Cha-ching. 35 left. I've been building stuff up over here. I might as well keep going over here. Hey, go all the way. Go all the way over here. Get him in there. Give me your sacred treasure. Wait, I said R2. What does R2 do? Oh, R2 also shoots. Okay. Oh, I see. When you build the treasure meter, the treasure chest gets put onto the thing. Okay. So you get to knock the treasure down. Interesting. I'm so close, dude. These coin games, you're always so close. That's the thing. You're always so close to getting a million coins, and you just never do. You're always just one away from getting the one in a million shot. Look at that giant stack. I only have 20 coins left, though. I need that stack, man. Maybe if I keep shooting coins into the same places, it'll work. Exciting gameplay? Oh, I'm excited. Oh, 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 the big stack! Yes, there we go. You're gonna tell me that wasn't exciting? You're gonna tell me that wasn't edge of your seat gripping action? My new plan is to get the chest in the middle by kind of, oh, the ultimate chest. Oh, I want the ultimate chest though. Oh, here we go, here we go. There's some action, all right, not bad. I swear there's a dungeon in this somewhere because the Steam screenshots did have a dungeon. But I don't, I'm hoping maybe the coin pusher like doesn't reset when you go in the dungeon, but in case it does, I don't want to like, lose my progress. I'm so close. I must admit my eyebrows lifted slightly when the stack fell, so there's definitely something there. Exactly. You're like, Whoa! It's briefly exciting. A fleeting moment of joy. Right, that, that gold chest, come on, that gold chest. You gotta get out of here, gold chest. We got two chests over here. We gotta get them out of here. There should be like a bomb coin. I wonder if we can get like a super special like power up coin that can blow it up. Whoa, hey, speak it. There it is. I have no idea what triggered that. Oh no, I do, because I got all the way to the end. I got all the way to the end of the bottom bar. Okay, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, that was huge. That might give me some of the treasure. Yeah, treasure chest. What do you give me? Monster part? Oh, I got some skeleton bones. I got a rib cage. Yeah, I think I think those doors over there on the sides are dungeons. Another rib cage? Okay, do I build? Am I making a dungeon here? Is the dungeon under dungeon instruction? I'm gonna get this last chest, then I'll go explore those doors. I wish you could shoot the coins a little bit faster. Kind of a slow pace. This is me spamming A. Is the music from the game? Yeah, the music is from the game. It's a decent tune. Right, I got that treasure. That is just more coins. Okay, 10 coins. Let's go to the treasure. Let's see what the dungeon holds. Achievement unlocked. Open your first prize chest. Nice. Welcome to level one. Huh. Here we go, Mimic. 
The goblin head. Yeah, I'm a goblin now. Okay. So this guy just randomly generates... That's like a zombie body? He's generating monster parts. For some purpose. Here's a... Oh, I, I build a monster out of the parts I collected. Okay, let's give him the skeleton, and we'll give him the orc. Make my new creation. There he is. So what does he do? I have one of five units. I need five units to do something. Okay. This is something. Maybe that will uh, trigger once I get all the coins. Arrow over here. Those are probably biomes. My sword is 1.2. You must customize your lich. Do I have anything good? Mm, they all cost coins, but I need the coins. I need the coins for the coin machine. How about the witch's brew? You must craft some items? Okay. Did it say steam inventory? Steam inventory? I don't know. Uh -oh. Does it have TF2 item crafting? I don't, I don't know about that one. Oh, here we... Okay, this is the game. This is the... Oh, I'm playing as the zombie skeleton. Okay. Oh, how do I attack? How do I kill? Am I auto-battling him? Yeah, I think I'm auto-battling him. Okay, he's been auto-battled. Do you put all your streams on Oboe 2s? Most of it. Like 90% of it ends up on there. Usually I don't put the technical difficulties on there. I could. I could upload like a five-hour compilation of technical difficulties of nothing happening. Oh, I can fill it up. Okay, yeah, fill it up. Give me 10. Times 10 coins. Give me a level 4 monster creature. Okay, we got more bones. What'd you even search to find this game? No, Steam told me to get this. Steam was like, we recommend that you play this one. I was like, all right. Sometimes Steam knows what it's doing. You know what you know when Steam doesn't know what it's doing is when the back button is clicked. Whenever you're browsing Steam and you click the back button, 99 out of 100 times, the back button does not do what you want it to do. Like the back button is a little bit context sensitive where it could technically do a couple different things. But any time that I click the back button on Steam, it always does what I don't want it to do. It never, at a single time, has functioned the way I wanted it to. Alright, there's a new unit. Let's build this guy. Oh, that's the goblin. Okay, there's the goblin. Do I have any more heads? Need some more heads. Is this for the king? Nah, it's not like for the king at all. For the king is different. What's up, Death the Striker? Yeah, Death the Striker's here. He's here in chat. He's lurking. He's chilling. Sometimes Steam recommends random adult games. Yeah, I have those filtered mostly off because I don't want one to pop up on my Steam page while I'm streaming. So I'm, I'm pretty sure I have those like toggled off or toggled like censored in Steam. Steam doesn't suggest a lot of those to me. Although I feel like the second you buy one of those, Steam will start suggesting a million of them to you. Like if you buy one adult game on Steam, you're like, all right, well, this guy likes him. Fill up his front page. Okay, I have five out of five units now. I wonder if when I go into the dungeon now, do I get like a bunch of guys? Like instead of having that one crappy guy, do I have a bunch of guys? I don't know what that does. What do you do? None of the buttons did anything. I think over here was where I found the uh, mission. Oh no, the mission's right here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, well I have like five guys like Pikmin now. Yeah, okay. Oh, and this, the similar guys are like glued together? Okay, that's me, that's my Lich. All right, kill Freddy Fazbear, take him down. Take him down, goblins. Yeah. What did that give me? I'm assuming coins? Maybe some treasure? Or captured? Oh, there's the coins. Okay, there's the treasure. 
This looks like a mobile game trailer. I can't beat level five. It's so difficult. Yeah, I don't know what the capturing is doing. It's doing something. Return to lair. I guess that was like mission one. My zombie guy died. But all my goblins are still going. Yeah, go back to my lair. Go back to my lich's horde. Need to build new units since my unit was perished in combat. Behold, the ultimate creation. There was some, like, words over here. Skylore Beck. K-Cat, Secret Hive Mind. What is this? Kickstarter backers, maybe? Maybe it's some kind of, like, backer reward? I kind of wish it was just a coin game. Yeah, the, the coin game is definitely the more interesting part, but it has a bunch of, like, other stuff built around the coin game. So it's not just a coin game. No, I appreciate that. Because, again, you can you can just go get a coin game if you want to play a coin game. Having a little something, having having like a RPG progression coin game is like interesting. It's something. It's not nothing. This game is not nothing. Is it a Unity game? Yeah, it's on Unity. Unfortunately. Would you rather work for Unity or The Escapist? Which company is your favorite? I should just be aiming for the basketball hoop because the basketball hoop never moves. I feel like it should be really easy to get the coin in that over and over again. Yeah, there we go. All oh, becomes platinum. Yeah. Give me that platinum coin. Oh yeah. I think it moves whenever you get one in, so you can't just like spam it. Mm -hmm. Maybe when the platinum coin lands, you get extra coins for it. I wonder if it's possible to hit a game over if you like run out of coins. Is it like a score chasing thing or is it like a unlock everything type thing? I feel like it's not a score chase. It might have some kind of a safeguard built in so you like can't get completely locked out. You yeah, you probably can just go into the dungeon and run past the zombies and get coins if you run out of coins completely. There we go, double kill. That super golden chest. It's like already I've been playing for what, like 10 minutes. Already I have like unstoppable momentum. I have like 69 coins and counting. You have to really mess up at like the very beginning to not have enough coins to just like play forever. How much did this game cost? It was pretty cheap. I think it was less than five USD. I think it was like $2.99 or something like that. I just bought a bunch of games today. So I don't remember the exact price of this one, but it was not expensive. I'm already thinking that it's, it's a good value. It's a good money's worth type game. If you want a coin game that has a little bit of a RPG thing on it, because why not? For a couple bucks. Sure, why not? Although I don't know what it was talking about with Steam items. Apparently you can like craft stuff with Steam items, like TF2 scrap. I don't know if I like that aspect, but that aspect didn't appear to be, like, functioning, so. Or I just don't have any steam items to craft. Oh, yeah, super bonus. Super bonus. This game is kind of like an exercise in self-control, because you want to play it forever, because it's addicting. So the, the true challenge of the game, the true difficulty comes in turning the game off. Because at all times, you're so close. You're so close to getting the king's treasure hoard. But eventually, you must hit escape and exit the game and go to bed. You describe vampire survivors? Yeah, any addicting game like that. I played like 50-ish hours of vampire survivors, I think. is a good game. Good fun game. I got a skull monster part. Okay. So the chests contain monster parts. I wonder if the chest monster parts are better than the ones from the Mimic crate. The Mimic crate ones can be leveled up by giving it more coins, though. 
The new Warhammer game is pretty good, but that Stormcast Eternal looking game. Yeah, I saw that one, but Stormcast Eternal suck. They just suck, so I'm not gonna play that one. It's like the lamest possible faction they could have come up with. What if, uh, what if they're like a uh, armor guy? And they're like, yeah. Boring. Isn't it like Stormcast Eternals versus Orcs? It's like, oh wow, it's creativity at 100% on this one. I got addicted to the idle games in high school. I played a lot of Adventure Capitalist back when Adventure Capitalist first came out. I don't think I completed it, but I got really far in Adventure Capitalist, unfortunately. Oboe has a good eye for finding diamonds in the rough or that weird warm rock that gives you cancer. Speaking of weird rock, there's like a gem in the middle of the board here. Gonna get that one? Usually the diamonds in the rough type games are not third person shooters. If you want to find a crappy third person shooter, this is the channel for you. If you want to go on Steam and spend like $2 to buy a joke gift to give one of your friends on Steam. Like if you, if you want to find the terrible game, to give your friends as a prank, then Oboe Shoes Games is the channel for you. I do be unearthing those on a regular basis. Dark Tide is the good Warhammer. Yeah, I heard that one was okay. Another achievement. Open 10 prize chests. Nice. Am I going to 100% this game? It's possible. I do have the skills. Super bonus. I wonder if the coin game like changes. I wonder if there's like cosmetics for the actual coin game setup, or like if there's like a different dungeon you can go to. Got more skeleton parts. I'm gonna get this giant gem. There we go. We got the chaos emerald. What does the chaos emerald do? I have one chaos emerald now in the inventory. I'm not sure what that accomplished. on golden chest arrows popped up on the sides geology have one gem in the bank that achievement took a while to fire off there i had the gem a while ago i was do some more dungeon delving so what do you do what the oh i have like a oh huh did the gem give me that Yeah, I think getting the gem in the bank allowed me to cast the Platinum Ritual. That's kind of good. How many uh, monsters do I have? I have five. I have all I can have. All right, mission two, I guess. I guess mission two? I'm not sure if there's, like, progression. I'm assuming this will be, like, a different woods. Oh, onward. There we go. I, I, went, I went reverse last time. Oh yeah, there we go, a different coin map, nice. So the dungeon is a coin map, and this is also a coin map, okay. If this game has like 10 different coin maps, gated behind RPG combat, that's a good game. A solid concept. Wanga Turtle, thank you Wanga Turtle for the gift subs. Oh my god. Are you like Crush the Turtle from Finding Nemo, Talk to Crush the Turtle, Disneyland attraction? Of which there are several amusing videos online. Yes, you are? Okay, good. He was my favorite character in Finding Nemo. I hope I get him in my Happy Meal. Let's see, Griff was taken by everyone. He can be red versus blue, orange guy. Love is the first. You can be first base. First base is love. Zai Kana, you can be a uh, Zai. What does Zai go with? Hmm. Zai, Zai, Zai Goat. Yeah, how about Zai Goat? Rassy Rat, it can be Bad Rats. Like, favor, subscribe if you want Oboe Shoes games to play Bad Rats. If, the, if this is the year, like, 2014, that'd be very hilarious to play Bad Rats. 
Nowadays, we just play Unity Asset Flip FPS games. What happened to the good old days of Bad Rats? Toon Link, you can be... Hot, 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 hot. Who do you think will play Link in the Legend of Zelda movie? Game of the name? The game of the name is You Must Become a Lich. And there's a pink sword meter filling up. It's different from the coin bar, so the pink sword meter probably does something. Chris Pratt as Link and Zelda. Yeah, he, he should be both of them. I remember I used to stomp Octorox when I was a child. What is a sub, a bit, and a tier sub? Uh, in Twitch terms, a sub is when you give a guy money on their channel and then you get their emotes for use across Twitch and you don't get ads on their videos. I'm pretty sure the ad free viewing is still a thing. It might not be, though. Stop missing the hoop. Okay, fine. I'll aim at the hoop. Bits is just like a straight up donation that Twitch takes half of. So you're better off just doing a sub because at least with a sub you get some kind of a reward in emotes. And the tier sub is just, it's like a higher, uh, a more, it's a more expensive subscription that you can uh, give somebody if you want to. And usually there's like a couple extra emotes. It's just another way to donate basically. Basically all of it is just ways to donate. But Twitch subscriptions is probably the best. Out of all like the dumb like membership things, Twitch sub is good because on Twitch, with a Twitch sub you can use the emotes on other people's channels, which is good. When you sub to a YouTube membership, you cannot use that YouTube membership's emotes on other YouTube streams, which sucks. That purple bar is almost filled. Once that purple bar is filled, we're in business. Maybe it'll summon purple guy. The man behind the slaughter? Can you even lose? Probably not. I feel like if you run out of coins, you can just go back to the first dungeon map. I want to fill this purple bar, though. Maybe it means a boss battle. Maybe it means like a monster is going to attack me. Oh, targets. There's targets. Kill him. Kill him. There's a timer on this. Okay, I hit one. Also, oh, just got really stressful. Get the other one. Get the other one. Do I have to have all three of them dead at once? They keep respawning. They keep spawning back in. How much HP does this guy have? I'm assuming the targets is how you kill his health. He always comes back, though. Yeah, I did not kill that guy. I didn't even come close to killing that guy. I need to shoot the coin faster. The coin shoots too slow. I wonder if you can like level up your guy to shoot the coins faster. Either every shot needs to hit the target or I need to be able to shoot the coins faster. Or maybe my coins can like do more damage if I level them. I'm not sure. Let's keep going this way. Is there another level I can do? There is a hollow door. Unclear whether or not that door is hollow because of early access or because I didn't unlock it yet. You probably had to beat the guy. Probably slaying the monster. Okay, so the hollow doors can be walked through, it looks like. All right, let's go, monsters. Oh, you can't get coins from this map again. Okay, the coins are just gone. Maybe that's what the middle table does? Maybe the middle table levels up your coin damage? I have a gem now. I have like times one gem. Is this just your inventory? There's like a picture of a book. A gem, and there's like a coin 60 second timer thing. Is this, is this supposed to be telling me that a gem equals coins for a minute? I don't know what this means. I hit every button. Was it a save, maybe? It said saved. It was just like a save game. Oh, I can go in here now. Okay. Is this just fast travel to the other map? 
Yes, it was just fast travel to this map. Okay. Super bonus. So after I've already walked through the forest map, what do the monsters do? I wonder if the monsters are what affects your coins damage. Like, do you want to build the best monster team to make your coins hurt more? There's a coin land, a cactus land, a bridge land, like a haystack land. Let's see, can I customize my guy to do more damage? I don't think so. There's focus. What is focus? My arcane focus. Yeah, I'm not seeing any stats. I think those are just like for cosmetics. What is this weird steam item cauldron? Yeah, it's got common, uncommon type stuff. It's the monster builder. This is the people. So is it really, I just got to hit all those targets when they come out? I don't have a way to like improve my guy at all. Maybe a silver coin does more damage, maybe? Maybe I got to get a gem to do like a platinum blast on him. I'll just go try again. I keep going the wrong way. Let's all go to the forest. Okay, let's try again. Maybe with mouse it's easier. Is it easier to aim this with a mouse? No, a mouse can't aim it. The mouse is not doing anything. Maybe I had to like swap to controls. Game auto saves once a minute. Okay, no. Looks like you do just aim with the old stick. I was trying to summon that boss again. He was pretty strong. Here we go, the platinum chip. The game was rigged from the start. There we go. I keep getting torn between these two sides. I'm like, oh, the, the right side is so close, but the left side is so close as well. But the left side is, ah, but the right side though. I miss the right side. If I play this game long enough, I will be able to develop an entire Mr. Brightside parody based on its mechanics. The goal is to put the game down before that happens, but it will happen if I continue to play for like a couple hours. Came across a Steam page and it looked quite fine. You must become a lich. I said that game looks cool. Yeah, that, that, that was a little rough, but it's, it's forming. Maybe his health doesn't regen? Yeah, maybe. That would be great if his health didn't regen. Now she's raking his coins. Necromancy, turning zombies into soldiers. Maybe gems do it? Maybe gems increase your damage? Almost there. One more push and the monster will appear again. If I oh, if I can time a super duper coin blast with the monster's appearance, that'd be good. I don't think I'll be able to though. Yeah, the coin blast is gonna occur first. That would be really useful. I wonder if that's a tactic is to time that up on him. Middle coin stuck forever, yeah. They will never move. They're stuck in coin purgatory for the rest of their days. They will never be spent. Right, he's, okay, yeah, his health didn't despawn. I mean, didn't respawn. Good call. 
Good call, whoever said that. Take him down. If his health came back, that would have been like almost impossible. One must imagine the coins as happy. Come on, hit him. Here we go. I wonder if he can just like hit the middle guy. I wonder if that counts as damage. Okay, I need one more damage phase. Give me a damage phase. Hey, one of the middle coins kind of got free, but another one took his place on the very top of the pyramid. This is the kind of game you see in funny moment family guy clips. Uh, those, those games are usually worse. You usually don't see good games in funny moment family guy clips. That one's even more stuck than the last one yet. Can I, I wonder if I can free that one. Free the coin. Get him out of that stack. There we go. Oh, I made another disaster. Hang on. There we go. Okay, I bailed them both out. The coins are saved. Their super chest spawned. Yeah, the super coin blast meter appears to fill faster than the boss meter does, I think. So timing the two together would be a true feat of a physics puzzle-esque prowess. Yeah, super blast. Heard about Exo Primal? Yeah, I saw Exo Primal. I didn't play that one though. I might play it at some point if it's like one dollar on sale. Is it even is it a free to play or a pay to play? I don't even know. It's so not on my radar that I don't even know what kind of a monetization scheme they're going with. It's pay? Okay, it's pay to play. That's good. Pay to play means it's at least like not free to play. With that purple gem. There's like a purple D20 in there. You know that'll give me the power. What's the goal here? The goal is to get all the treasure and become the ultimate treasure master. The goal is to become the master of coin. I want that purple gem. I played it on Game Pass. Okay, it's on Game Pass. If it's on Game Pass, I might check it out. Are you missing the hoop on purpose? I mean, I don't need a hoop. I'm just trying to get this gem over here. I'm trying to make this purple gem fall forth. There we go. Chaos Emerald acquired. There's the bag. Oh, dude, I timed it right. I timed it right. Yeah, look at that. That was huge. The true master. And the monster has been slain. Economicon. Hey, that's pretty good. The Economicon. Get it? Because the economy. How bad ad, ad, ad can I be? I'm just trying to help the economy. Okay, give me those treasure chests and give me that green gem. Once I get that green gem, I'll check out this holographic door on the side. Hopefully I get the gem before the boss gets respawned. Come on, green gem. I must collect the Chaos Emeralds. Exo Primal would be better if it was Earth Defense Force with dinosaurs, but instead it's Overwatch with dinosaurs? The hero shooter with dinosaurs? Is there like the speedy class and the tank class? Hmm. It's an interesting one. Maybe I will check it out. Right, there we go. Come 
Monster part. Right, can I go through this door now? Yeah, new zone unlocked. Here we go. What lies beyond? Oh, it's a huge monster. That guy's got 50 health and five attack. All right, kill them goblins. Do I even have to fight them though? I feel like I can just run past them. Oh, there's a red line. I can't run past them. All right, capture that one. Kill whatever this is. Kill this guy. This guy is shredding me. This could use like some fun medieval music instead of like death ambience. This could be like I'm not saying they should pirate the Zelda theme and use that, the Dark World song. It'd be cool though. Uh oh. Arm oh army defeated. Okay. So if all your army dies, you get kicked back to the war room. Let's, let's construct my ultimate guys. Do I have any level two bodies? I don't. I will make that one. It's a 2.0 guy. 2.2 guy, okay. He's the Trogdor music? Yeah, that'd be a good one. That would help. It's a bit of a basic guy. That guy kind of sucks. I could just buy some higher level stuff from the Mimic crate. It looks like the body matters more for the uh, damage output, maybe. Army full. Okay, now we can go in. Now that peaceful town will be destroyed. Mo ha 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 ha. That's still the first door, dang. Who knows if the rest of that content is in the game or if it's an early access. I feel like it might be, though. I feel like all those doors might be in the game. Because otherwise they would have like a coming soon sign on them, right? All right, army, take him down. Did he get his health back? I think he got his health back. Uh-oh. A tough customer. Trogdor was a man, or maybe he was a dragon man, or maybe he was just a dragon, but he was still trapped. I can't scream like Strong Bad. I don't have his pipes. Get him goblins. Okay, so I am leveling up. There is like XP. The XP determines how many guys you can have. I wonder if it determines coin damage during the boss fights. Probably not. Onward. Welcome to the plowed fields. Oh, dude, look at this. This is going to be a satisfying one. You missed some coins back there? Eh. I'm sure I'll earn more. Oh, these aren't, these are like going into the, the fenced up zone. What's up with that? Oh, is it like gonna grow? Are those gonna like be harvestable when the timer runs down? Hmm. It's possible. See. Hit to harvest. Yeah, harvest. Harvest those coins. Yeah, nice harvest. Alright, so this has a new mechanic. It's kind of good. Kind of fun. wonder who the boss of this realm will be. Looks like three coins turns into nine. That's pretty good. Yeah, it's pretty good. 
multiple of three type farming environment. Certainly a better farm than Chilfero farm. Your rate of fire change? Yeah, you're right, it did. I now shoot two instead of one. Oh, there's a gem over there. Did it grow into gems? Did the coins grow into gems? If it grew into gems, that's crazy. Maybe the gems just spawn there. I guess level determines your fire rate. Yeah, I guess so. Double fire rate's very nice. It's a good improvement. When this boss shows his cowardly face, I'll be more than ready to take him down. All right, here he comes. Oh, it's the farmer. It's Farmer Pitchfork. Classic Randy. Doesn't want me to take his crops. Die, Farmer Randy. Is he doing something to the coins, or is he just walking around? I think he's just walking around, being a silly little guy. Is he stealing the treasure? His pitchfork steals some coins. Okay, so he is doing something. He stole some of my coins, you jerk. Don't to worry, I can just attrition him to death. Did you play Balan's Wonder World? No, I did not play Balan's Wonder World. This game kind of looks like Balan's Wonder World. It did have the farmer. The farmer was a famous character from Balan's Wonder World. That guy was dancing like crazy. I wish I could plant a coin in the ground and it would become nine coins within 15 seconds. How long would it take you to become a millionaire? If you could put a penny in the ground and 20 seconds later, you would have nine pennies. How long would that take? This is where math comes in handy. Less than a day? I mean, you got, you got to account though. It's, it's not like a... Well, here, here's the question. Are you allowed to bury a handful at a time? Or do you have to bury like just one at a time? Because if you, if you got to scoop up some dirt, put one down and cover it back up. That would take... If, if, if the only thing you're allowed to do is one to nine, that's different. If you're allowed to take the nine you just got and stick them back in the same hole and those all multiply, then yeah, it's really fast. But if it's if it's strictly one to nine, yeah, increasing space requirements. That's true. You would need more space. You would need you need a really really large hole really quickly, in order to properly like bury them. Die, Randy, die. Randy's going down this time. That was for new tails, you son of a pitchfork. All right, the farmer has been vanquished. No more crops for him. That's the kind of question they ask in math class. Yeah, you thought you could watch Twitch instead of doing your homework? Joke's on you, Twitch is your homework. Or individual holes like real plants. Yeah, if you had to do it individually, it would take way longer. My army's about to be vanquished by this guy. I mean, I got him, but at what cost? Gotta go build a new armada. Maybe I'll invest in some quality guys from the old chest. Give me something good. So the, the chest, the more you put into the chest, the higher level stuff you get, it looks like. Does it only cost one coin per item? Yeah, only cost one coin per item, I think. 
But the chest can be leveled up by giving him more money. He wants cash. Yeah, super combo. 24 gold combo. Some good bits and baubles. I wonder if those are like rarities. Like is a green goblin thing better than a, or worse than a purple goblin thing? It's possible. I better get some superior units now. Better have some good units. Level three, level three. Eh, I feel like the zombie kind of sucks. Looks like the skeleton does the most damage. Maybe the rogue does the most damage? Let's combine that one. One million dollars worth of pennies would weigh 550,000 pounds, yeah. At that point, just like getting that much pennies underground is gonna be a real endeavor. What if you put all your coins in the chest? You might get a game over, I don't know. Maybe it just gives you 10 coins to keep going. I don't plan on trying that. I'm not exactly trying to trigger a fail state. How deep do the pennies need to be planted? They gotta be buried. Let's say the pennies have to have an inch of dirt on top of them, how about that? That's enough to bury a penny, I'd say. Right, eight out of eight units. Let's do it. Return to the farmland and slay the peasants within. All right, kill this guy. It's weird that it's just like an auto battler damage, like it just the damage just automatically happens. It'd be kind of cool if you could like hit A to swing your sword maybe, but I don't know. It's just a number crunching type thing. Why is this lumber hut got so much health? It's just a lumber hut. It's gonna kill my whole army. My whole army died to the Lumber Hut, dude. Does the Lumber Hut get its health back? That Lumber Hut better not get its health back. That'd be that'd be really angry. Oh, what? This is blocked off now. Why? Because I have no army. Is that why? Do I have to have an army to be able to go through the door? Maybe. I can't go in that one. I guess, yeah, I guess you have to have an army to be able to go outside. Need more units. Give me some units, treasure chest. A skeleton head, yes, I will take it. There should maybe be, like, against, against this wall, there should be, like, five of these chests. So you can just, like, run between them and spam A and get a lot of parts very fast. Because the animation's a little bit long when you need, like... 18 parts to make your army again. They just kept kicking the board so they died, yeah. Very sturdy windmill. Good job on the carpenter peasant who designed that windmill. That windmill literally killed goblins. That enough probably not it'd be nice if the hud if when you're in the the creation room 
the HUD should tell you how many parts you have of each category. Maybe there's a way to display that. Maybe the back button does. Ooh, look at that guy. Got like a Viking guy. All right, there's my eight guys again. The windmill is doomed. Let's go kill that windmill. Revenge on the windmill. Do your minions function better if the head matches the body? Maybe, it's possible. That would make sense. Could fight that boss again to get the boss reward. All right, forward, zombies. Forward, you shambling horde. Okay, the windmill did not get its health back good. We got it. No more wheat for the peasants. Mwahahaha. Welcome to the river. That was a huge map. This is a long one. It's a long way down on the river map. Cuomo. This is Cuomo Falls. Congratulations, Goblin. You are now a member of the new army. Ah, that sounds good, boss. But uh, what do you mean, new army? What happened to the last army? Uh, don't worry about it. They <laughs> they died into a windmill. They died to a barn. Oh, did, did the barn like come alive and hit them with a the sword? No, they just it they walked into it and that killed them. Yeah, it's gonna take a while for the coins to get flown on this one. This could take some time. There we go. The coins are flowing. Dave and Buster's simulator. Kinda. Does they yeah, Dave and Buster's has tokens, right? They have that dumb, like, credit card thing, though. You, you can get tokens just because so many arcade games function off tokens. I haven't been to a Dave & Buster's in, like, a trillion years. It may have been over a decade since I last went to a Dave & Buster's. If you don't know what Dave & Buster's is, Dave & Buster's is, like, a chain of arcades in USA. Because USA doesn't really have independent arcades. I don't know. Not many places have arcades anymore. But Dave & Buster's is, like an arcade that still exists. And you have to like prepay money on their little like Dave and Buster's credit card and you like use that to play games. I've been to Dave's but not Buster's. Oh dude, you're missing out on the Buster part. The Buster's the best part. We have a cool all you can play arcade here in Wichita. I gotta go to Wichita. Is it Wichita or Wichita? I think it's Wichita, right? Famous U.S. arcade is Gallop and Ghost. Yeah, they exist. Just, there's not that many of them these days. Or maybe there's just not many near me. Why are there no hot single arcades in my area? I want to play a claw machine. They got a claw machine at Walmart, though. Walmart has a claw machine. Does that count? <laughs> Does that count as an arcade? Yeah, my Walmart has a coin star and a claw machine right next to each other. How's that for arcade action? Super Blast, that might do it. That might aggro the angry lake monster. The god of the waters himself. Maybe he's some kind of like a serpent beast. Do you play D and D? Yeah, I play D and D. Yeah, the chest being stuck inside of the circle is not good. I don't think I can get that out of there. I think that's just stuck there forever. 
Oh, hang on, it bounced. I can't believe it bounced. There we go. Oh, whoa, here we go. Oh, he's got ores, dude. He's got ores to block his targets. Oh, it's gonna take forever. He's a tough customer. And he's got dolphins going upstream. Classic dolphins. Oh, good timing on that super blast, though. It's good stuff. The river has entered phase two. No, 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 no. I think when a coin falls down into the like the slot, you get more time because the time bar keeps getting reset. I think maybe that's what's happening. I'm not complaining. I need all the time I can get. Killing the river god in one phase would be pretty good. Yeah, yeah all right. You got the blue star. All right, River God vanquished. R.I.P. Cuomo. Nice to know ya. How do I leave? There we go. Back into the zone of death. What if I just run past the zone of death? What are they gonna do if I just leave? They're gonna invisible wall me. Okay, fair enough. Kill him, zombie. Josh Eek, thanks for subscribing. Josh Eek Gaming. Everybody go watch Josh Eek Gaming's Sekiro Shadows Die Twice video. It's really close to a million views. He needs a million views in that bad boy. This game's a dopamine rush. Yeah, it's a dopamine rush type game. You buy this game knowing your brain is going to be manipulated into having a good time. And you're like, yeah, I, I can be manipulated into having a good time right now. I could go for a good time. Yet again, my army is slain. I probably earned maybe enough monster parts to build a full squad. Let's find out. Oh, yeah, let me try matching the monster parts as well. Rogue head. Do I have a rogue body? In 1.5. Dirty Pete. Thanks, Dirty Pete, for dirty scribing. I got no more heads. Dang, dude. I get some more heads. All right, Treasure Man. First time, long time. Uh, Hey there, it's me, Dirty Pete. First time, long time. Uh, I'm taking my comment off the air. But you didn't you didn't even you didn't even give us a comment though. Yeah, I'm taking my comment off the air. Another zombie body. I wonder if it's faster to just like play the coin thing and earn chests than it is to get this guy to chomp up some stuff. Because he's giving me bodies. I don't need bodies. I need more heads for my creations. There's a rib cage. There's a body. Yeah, give me some heads, treasure. Come on. Maybe the number of coins determines what you get. Maybe it's like odds and evens. Let's test that theory. One coin. An odd number of coins. Give me a torso. Two coins. Give me a head. So will four coins give me a head? No. Okay. So it's not odds or evens. It's just random each time. Zombie head. The torso of the true hero. I kind of look like Breath of the Wild Link if you die him green. Let's see, zombie head on zombie. Level 5 zombie body isn't even good. Dude, all my creatures suck. What the heck? That one's not bad. Level 5 goblin. Let's 
reanimator body. Do I have a reanimator? I don't think I have a reanimator. Out of heads again. Maybe seven zombies is enough. Maybe that's enough, or six zombies. Maybe that's enough to kill the windmill. Oh, I didn't want to walk on that. I swear the windmills are stronger than the actual army. Why bother having a militia defend the town when you have a windmill? It kind of makes sense. Maybe the zombies just walk up to it and the little spinning fan thing just cuts their heads off. Maybe. All right, zombies, let's do it. It's time for the village to suffer the price. The price of resisting the necromancer is that... Oh, it's not even a windmill. It's like a hut. They have a cabin. I repeat, they have a cabin. My God. This is the strongest wooden shack I've ever seen. Nice work, zombies. Oh, partner. We got a double coin thing. Oh, I got triple blast now. Yeah, triple blast. Oh, they move. It was a moving thing, not a double. Interesting. Howdy, partner. Welcome to Cactus Town. This is where we have all of our cactus gold. Cactus coining. Cactus coining. You are watching. I'll move the cursor up here so it's less distracting. Cactus coining. Yeah, get him in the hoop. Get him in the hoop for the ultimate prize. I got a big old stack forming over there. I think it was a deception, though, because they were all just stuck on that rock. It wasn't actually that massive. All right, aim for the hoop, because why not? The hoop is fun to aim for. Here's some treasure. Get in. There we go. The river was the easiest map so far, I think, because the river had, like, almost no obstacles. It was just really long. This one's more wide and spread out. I think the more... I think the wider it is, the longer it'll take to get it going. And the narrower it is, the easier it is. Which is why in arcades, they're like a giant circle. Who will the boss be? A cowboy guy? It better be a cowboy guy. Maybe it'll be Tumbleweed Tim. Howdy there, cowpoke. I'm Tumbleweed Tim. You can't be destroying my windmill. Ooh, collectible. Maybe a cosmetic for my guy. That that huge stack has to give. It's got to give eventually. Come on, stack. I want that big payday. I want that big payday. All right, here we go. The boss is coming up. The boss is coming up. I might be able... To trigger the coin of Palooza when the boss attacks, which would be good. Right, here's the boss. Who is it? Oh, it's Tumbleweed Tim. Oh, it's Red La <laughs> It's Red Laser Pointer Sniper, guys. <laughs> oh no. Even in the coin pusher game, the red laser pointer snipers. They're always here. They always come back. I can't escape them, no matter what genre I play. I have a plan, Arthur. We will affix these laser sights to our revolvers to make our hip fire more accurate, Arthur. 
But Dutch won't we get a aim down sight speed penalty debuff? Don't worry about that, Arthur. I am a master gunsmith in Call of Duty. We would once again like to petition the kingdom to decrease the size of its official coinage. Number of citizens who've been killed by giant coins goes up every year. Yeah, the, the king is really vain and the coin has a portrait of him and he's like, by royal decree, all portraits of the king on money must be life-sized. The coins have to be the actual size of my head in real life. And somehow they still don't contain enough metal to be worth more than like a penny. We must find the least valuable metal possible so that we can forge giant coins without destabilizing the economy. Ooh, look at that middle part. That middle part is looming large. Aluminum coinage, yeah. It's just aluminum foil balls. That's the official currency. Super coinage blast. Monster part. All right, now that I know red laser pointer guys are coming, I'll be ready. I'll deploy my finest third person cover shooting tactics on them. Here they come. Yeah, just me. Take him down, kill Micah. Micah, you dirty rat, Micah. All right, Micah is dead. Another foe vanquished. Collectible. Oh, I wonder if the collectibles is the supporters. That's probably what the collectibles are. The collectibles is probably all those supporters that were on the shelf. I've got supporters on the wall. Yeah, super coin blast. Just wanted to get that super coin blast real quick. Ooh, Skyrim helmet. Uh-oh. Dragonborn. Every time I hear the beeping noise, I think the PS3 in my room turned on. What beep? The the soundtrack? What beep are you talking about? Because I know I have a PS3. I have a PS3 underneath my desk that I accidentally turn on pretty frequently by just like hitting it with my foot and it turns it on. So I know what the PS3 beep sounds like. I haven't heard a PS3 beep in this game, I don't think, but maybe now that you've said that, I'll hear it and I'll be like, oh God, you ruined it. If I hear the PS3 beep like every five seconds, I can't play this game anymore. I hope I, I hope I never hear it. I hope I never understand what you're saying. I mean, I'm pretty close to spawning the boss again. I might as well spawn him again, to be honest. I might as well just play this game for the rest of my life, to be honest. It's kind of a long-term commitment type game. Although I am almost in the last uh, stage. Okay, there we go. Super coin blast. I was trying to save that for the boss, but that's fine. That gem. Because that gem does something. The cycle of beating a gaming addiction by replacing it with another gaming addiction continues. Look, I can quit anytime I want. Anytime I want after I beat the whole game, I can quit. All I gotta do is beat the whole game, then I can quit the whole game after I beat the whole game. It's, it's simple. It's quite simple, you see. Real life coin game should have boss fights. That'd be good. Make him a true tent pole attraction of the Dave and Busters. I 
so close. That was so close. So close to the kill. I guess I'm just gonna kill this boss again and earn some more monster parts instead of going... This is more fun than going to the Mimic chest. Getting the monster parts out of the Mimic kind of sucks, so I'll just do this again. There we go. The gold treasure is free. Smeagol is free. I can quit anytime I want, says the guy who's not going to the next level. Yeah, I'm staying on the level I already beat, but I just, you know, I have to uh, I have to get uh, some more monster parts. Yeah, that's, that's why, that's why. I definitely just am not afraid of getting the last level in the game being over. No, 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 no. That couldn't be my concern. It simply could not. Ooh, that was like a green helmet. That was a green helm. A D-pad, maybe? Okay, I just pressed every button on the controller, so if I have any other moves, I don't know how to use them. Yeah, if you get the coin through the ring, it makes it silver. It makes it worth more, I think. That is the purpose of the basketball rings. Double platinum. The boss is almost back. I'm just going to kill this boss. I'll kill him one more time. Then I promise I'll move on. I promise. I promise I'll go to the next biome. I promise I'll kill some more windmills after this. I right, take him down. Die, Micah. Ain't got too much to say anymore. My right, boss killed again. Yeah, that, that didn't really do much for me, to be honest. It was kind of a waste. Not much was accomplished there. Besides having fun, but you know, who plays games for fun? I only play games to level up my battle pass. This game doesn't even have a battle pass. This guy's slaying me. That guy slayed me so much. All right, what are we dealing with here? What we got in terms of mighty heroes? There's three mighty heroes. Okay, let's go forge an army. Worthy of putting them down. Time to make my unholy abominations. Ooh, 1.7. I like that. Not a bad little minion. Ooh, 1.7 again. Not a bad little minion. These mighty heroes are so screwed, dude. These heroes think they're mighty. I'll show them. I'll teach them a lesson. There's not even any windmills in that canyon. What are they even defending? It should be... Is that eight or nine units? It's eight units. Okay, eight units is probably enough. If you're attacking windmills, does that mean your plan is Don Quicksoot? Maybe. Maybe I am Don Quicksoot. Oh, was the last level like the Royal Treasury? Because it has like a coin on there. Am I going to the source of all the coins? The source behind all this chaos. Onward. Yes. Eliminate the hero. Nobody saves my realm. He's dead. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of losing DPS here. I probably can kill him. Come on, goblins. Yeah, good job, goblins. All right. This would appear to be the final map. Oh, I like this one. I'm liking this one. This looks good.
Oh, the little the little hoops at the top just make them platinum. Oh, I love that. I really do love that. This is a good one. This is a good satisfying map. Stranglers them softly. Thank you for subscribing. You can be the Scranton Strangler. Hashtag office. I like Michael. He has the funniest moments. Dude, why is it family guy funny moments? It should be the office epic funny moments. Probably because the office will copyright strike you. And family guy just doesn't care at this point because they're family guy. This is worse than the time I got pirated on TikTok. Okay, this map is great. I love this map. This map is so satisfying. Will the boss be the corrupt king? The one who commissioned these giant coins in the first place and created all this madness? Almost halfway to the boss already. Things are moving fast here in the throne room. There's two thrones. I wonder if it's like the king and the queen's throne. weird to see a double throne. Usually there's one throne because it's like, you know, the one king is in charge. Is it a dual monarchy system? Do they have two kings of this realm? One wanted giant coins, one wanted small coins, so they met in the middle and made moderately sized coins. Dude, like the entire waterfall right now is platinum coins. That is huge. Unfathomable wealth. Yeah, super blast. So close to the boss. This might be a three-phase boss. Because it is the last one, I think. It's the last door the war room has, at least. There might be more. Bring it on, your majesty. I'm ready for you. It's just one guy. Just one monarch. One corrupt monarch. Ruin the land. I'm missing every shot. This is bad. I'm failing to do any damage. That was a really bad damage phase. Just an awful damage phase. That was not good at all. Maybe the gems is what increases your fire rate. Because there's levels and there's also gems. Either levels or gems is responsible for your fire rate. I'm not sure which one is which. There's a whole chunk of coins up there just waiting to fall down. Open 100 chests. Wow, really? It's been that many so soon? So soon, he says. Been playing for like over an hour. It really does not feel like I've been playing this for over an hour. It feels like I just started like 10 minutes ago. This is a trance type game. This is a real get in the zone type game. Get that purple jam. I want that. I feel like once you get all the Chaos Emeralds, you should be able to do Chaos Control. I would add Chaos Control from the Sonic the Hedgehog franchise into this if I was developing it. Fully Ramblematic launches today? Interesting. I wonder what. I wonder if Fully Ramblematic will be like red. Like instead of yellow, will they have a different color background, like a blue background?
It is, it is red? Nice. <laughs> Look guys, it's zero punctuation, but it's a different color. Wow. That's crazy. I seem to always do better on the second damage phase. So when the second damage phase happens, we'll see how I do here. Because this king is going to take a couple phases if things keep progressing as they are. He will not relinquish his crown without a fight. I might be, oh, I hang on, I got a lot of coins there. I was gonna say I might time the super blast, but now the super blast happened too fast. Too super of a blast, unfortunately. Is that like a monster? Is that like a Frankenstein head? I think I just achieved a Frankenstein. All right, my liege, here we go. Take him down. Take down the liege. Who said you could rule the kingdom? I didn't vote for you. Missed every shot. That's good. There we go. Got some hits. This is going to take forever. This guy's a healthy guy. He is the final boss. I'm going to get him. I'm not going to give up. Not gonna give up this close to the ending. Is there a door over here, actually? It looks like there's, when I make my guy go over here, it looks like there's nothing there to go to. Because I'm getting a million monster parts from this, but if there's no more battling to do. Then what am I gonna use those for if the battling is done? Maybe it's like a new game plus, like an endless cycle, an endless loop. There's zombie. What's in his head? What's in his head? Maybe the gems give the boss meter a super bonus? Maybe they like fill the boss meter a lot? I guess not. It looks like I need two more damage phases based on my previous damage phase performance. There's definitely going to be an achievement for getting a thousand coins, right? There's got to be a 1k gold achievement. Like the greediest goblin. You are the greediest of all. Congrats. Come on, give me 1k. Give me 1k coins. Just give it to me. Why are my coins going down so much? Why are my coins going down so much? I was right there. Okay, here we go, here we go, come on. Yeah, 1,000, no achievement, really? No achievement for 1,000 coins? I saw four digits really quickly? Oh, maybe I already got it then. I didn't see it till just now. Hey, there it is. I'm richer, have 1,000 coins in the bank. Wish I had a thousand gold coins in the bank in real life. That'd be nice. Wouldn't that be nice? I gotta buy some bullions. I wonder if there's like a strategy that would make this go faster. I'm just kind of spamming it with little regard for any type of a tactic. Maybe just shooting on the edge would be faster because I'll just like fall off sooner. Maybe that's faster? I don't know. Does them falling into the pit like that not count? Oh, he's back, he's back, get him. Kill him down, kill him down. Yeah, super blast, that's good. Super blast is very helpful. 
Target the center. Target the thermal exhaust port. One more, one more, one more. One more. Kill him. Kill him. Did I get him? No, oh, he's still alive. Oh my god, that was so close. Really starting to piss me off, my liege. Bust out the guillotines. We gotta get rid of the monarchy. No monarchs allowed, just zombies. Only zombies are allowed. That's why we killed all the windmills, because in our new zombie-based society, we don't need wheat. We don't need, like, a grain crusher. Although, I guess a zombie society does need brains to eat. I don't really know how you farm brains, though. Maybe zombies can eat normal food. They just don't want to. Like, I'd really prefer brains. Brains would be better. Maybe they're just really picky eaters. Super blast. Hit that gem. It's a nice color for gems. I like that color. It's a good choice. Now that I have a million trillion gold, I could buy some cosmetics for my guy. Since I'm never going to run out of gold ever again. But it feels kind of pointless if I'm about to kill the king. If the king's about to be dead, long live the king. I guess I can get some epic drip to celebrate my victory at the very end. At the end of all things. OBS says I've been playing this for almost an hour and a half at this point. I Again, I have to stress, it does not feel like I've been playing this for an hour and a half. It feels like I just started playing this. This is not the most productive use of your time, but it's, it's very satisfying for your brain. Your brain goes, ooh, while you're playing it. Ah, yes, yes. The number did get larger. There was a bunch of flashing lights and colors. I'm gonna kill this king. He's going down. There's no way I'm gonna let him beat me. Toss a coin to your witcher. Why did it take me so long to pull up that one? In a game about tossing coins, why did it take so long for toss a coin to your witcher to come up? Oh, valley of plenty. They have a new song for each season of witcher. Because wasn't Witcher season two awful? I didn't watch season two. And isn't, well, aren't they gonna like change the actor for Witcher? That'll be hilarious. Will they still have an epic song for that one, I wonder? All right, here we go, the king is coming. Kill him. Slay him. Yeah, take that, your majesty. King Slayer. Monarch dethroned. All right, can I go this way now? Can I get on the throne? Like, what do I do? Can I keep going? Maybe after all the chests are done? It looks like I can't keep going. Can I go back this way? Yeah, I can go back that way. But if I go over here, it's just nothing. So I think this is the extent of what the game has to offer at this point in time. And the extent of what the game has to offer at this point in time is pretty good. That was pretty fun. It was very enjoyable. Very trance-like. Let's see what I want. The novice staff, enhanced staff, the royal staff, the worn spellbook. Well, I mean, worn spellbook is kind of a cool one. I'll take the worn spellbook. Let's see. We got the uh, the green guy. The plate metal guy, the woolen guy, the cosmic. I kind of like that. It's kind of like a Dark Souls one, right? It's like Elite Knight inspired, maybe. It's blue. All blue armor is Elite Knight inspired, as we know. Give me the skeleton head. Yeah, give me that one. Oh, it costs, it costs gems. Okay, so the skeleton head costs gems. Gotcha. 
What happened? Oh, his, he can have a backpack. Coin backpack? I mean, coin backpack's pretty good. Pretty good drip. All right, here's my guy. Now he has a book. He's got a coin. He's got Skeletor's head. All his foes have been slain. So yeah, I mean, there's not really anything else to do at this point, I don't think. I feel like I've kind of done it all. Maybe that middle table will do something now. Maybe the middle table I couldn't solve now will be like, congratulations, you've done the mighty quest. Level one. Now it says level one on it. Hang on. Oh, there's stars. Okay. Become a lich. It says become a lich. Yeah, become a lich. Do that. Become a lich for four stars and a level five book. How do I get a level five book? Oh, hang on. Oh, that levels the book up. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Okay. So when you get a gem, you can hit A on the middle book in the room. Once the book is leveled up, I shouldn't have spent those gems on the skeleton mask, because now my book won't be level 5, probably. Yep, I wasted all my gems. All my gems were wasted. What a huge mistake. Oh, it's tempting. It's tempting to go get the rest of the gems and become a lich. I mean, I basically win once I have enough gems. Is the last thing to do. The, the, game, the name of the game is You Must Become a Lich, and if I get a few more gems, I can become said lich. Uh, I mean, I, I, I got nothing better to do. I kind of want to become a lich. The question is, which map will have the highest frequency of gem spawning? Okay, the fire rate depends on what map you're on. The fire rate for the coins depends on what map you're playing. So maybe the final king's room is the best for farming the gems. Is there a UI element that tells me how many gems I have? Yeah, I saw it there, bottom left. One could even say that it's been there the whole time. I'm just doing what the game said. The game said I must become a lich, so I'm gonna. I wonder how you spawn the gems. Are they random? If the gems are random spawns, that's kind of annoying. That's gonna make this grind very long. Maybe after you spend a certain amount of coins, the gem will spawn. They're rewarded at the bottom sometimes. Oh yeah, you're right, there are, okay, good. Okay, that's not that bad then. Wonder how many I need, maybe like five. Five is definitely more than enough, I'd say. Throw them at the farm. Oh yeah, the farm was growing gems, that's true. Well, this map fills up the meter really, really quickly. Like this meter is zooming. So this is a good method of getting them from the meter. Is the meter randomized each time or is the gem gonna be like a set thing? Okay, looks like the meter might be randomized each time. Or might be following a pattern. I 10 gems a day for $4.99, uh-huh. I'll just buy some mobile game gems. Wait, I'm confused. I need gems and I can't just like buy them in the shop. On sale now. Sale ending soon. Buy today. Best value. <laughs> Best value. Look, guys, you get $25 worth of gems for only $19.99. That's the best value. That's the best gem value ever. I like how my guy looks now. He looks cool. He's got a skeleton head and he's like waving a book around. He appears to be in a foul mood. Okay, I'm not getting any gems from this bottom rung here. Maybe the farm is the best because it grows gems. I'll give you one more chance. Maybe, maybe when you kill a boss you get gems. I don't want to fight the whole king again. The king has a lot of health. There's a gem. Okay, there's one. Not really sure how many more gems I need. I 
Did the farm grow gems or did I just earn gems and they just spawned in the farm? It's tough to say. Gotta review the tapes. All right, there's two gems. Hundred percent, they grew. Okay, we'll go back. Try to vanquish the king again, but I don't think I can vanquish him. He's got too much health. I don't think vanquishing him gives me a gem; it gives me stars. Boss kills give you stars, I believe, which is the other currency to become a lich. All right, let's go back to the uh, the farmer zone. Hey, let me get let me get the super coin bonus real quick. Gem, no gem. Okay, farmer zone time. Old evil lich had a farm. E I E I O. Oh, there's a gem here I didn't get. Nice, that's huge. That might be enough actually. That might be the last gem I need. We'll see. Could be just what the doctor ordered. Just gotta get enough coins to get him down from there. Give me that purple D20. They're not even D20s, they're just like Chaos Emeralds, but they look like D20s from some angles. He became chests, he became coins. Not many gems in the field today. Plant some more crops. And come on, gems. Three gems might be enough. I'll wait for this batch of crops, though. Yeah, this one doesn't have the bottom bar. The bottom bar is replaced by the crops mechanic, it would seem. So it would seem. Come on, crops. Give me a bountiful harvest. Oh, the farmer. Oh, God, the farmer's here. You're ruining my bounty. Stupid farmer. Save some crops for the rest of us. And when he's here, he kills all my stuff. He kills my coins. What a jerk. I'll go try with these three gems. Three might be enough. I get this farmer kill? I might get it, honestly. I keep getting more time added. Ah, eh, no farmer kill for me. Let's see, was three gems enough? One, two, maybe. Three? Yeah, level five. Okay, level five book. And four stars equals become a lich. Thank you for playing. You've done it. You've become a lich. Thank you for playing this silly little coin pusher adventure. You're free to continue pushing coins for as long as you wish from Skylore. Thanks, Skylore. Skylore made a pretty good game here. This game's good. I enjoyed it greatly. I enjoyed this game enough to finish it, even though I already beat it. I was like, wait a minute. I didn't technically get the final goal. Good game. An excellent game. Bit of a waste of time, but you know, most games are a waste of time. At least this is a cute waste of time. Oh, look at the Widow Sands Undertale. He's making a zombie in his coffin. <laughs>